Hello everyone. Let's take a look at uh, how we can take high resolution images in LT Spice. So I'm going to start with one of the circuits. Uh, this is an example 4.3 uh, from the book, which is uh, the, the William Haight book, ninth edition, engineering circuit analysis. So I have this circuit here. I'll, I'll show you guys how to take very good resolution images. Uh, so I'll run the S dot tran one. So it's a transient simulation. That's what I would like to run. Once it is done, I'll say before that. So uh, so I have this circuit here. If if the circuit is somewhere here, I'll 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 hit that button, which is zoom full extents, so that it can extend to the to the full. Uh, it can zoom to the full extents. Once once this is done, I'll go. I'll hit the tools button, and there's a copy bitmap to the clipboard. So I'll click that. This, this copy bitmap to the clipboard, open the Word document, paste it. Once it is pasted, click this button, uh, the, click your picture, hit the picture format, go to the crop, and then just crop it to the to the point where, it, where you require it. So I'll do it like this. Once it is done, hit the crop button. To bring it in the middle, hit the Control plus E, it will come into the middle. Once it is there, try to to make it big and you will see the, the resolution of the image. It's a very good resolution image and I'm viewing it at 150%. Right now I'm looking at 180% and it has all the pixels intact. That's, that's one way. You can also do this thing. So take the, take the uh, paint, open the paint and just paste your picture in the paint. Once it is done, make it 50%. Uh, select for the cropping, just select the area. That's a good area. So I'll hit up to this one. So see, this is selected. You hit the crop button and then file, save as. So save it as, not a PN, sorry, save it as a BMP file, okay? It should be 24 bit BMP. I'll just save it in the desktop using one. Uh, I just named it one. All right, we close it, go there. Here's the one dot BMP. So look at this. It's a very good picture. It's a very high resolution picture. And then actually, yeah, what I can do, I can simply copy this and then again paste in the word. Okay. You see, it has been pasted in the word and say high resolution image. That's the one way. That is one way of doing it. So sorry, these are the two ways. So you directly paste on the word document and crop it here. And you go and paste it in the paint and then crop it from there and paste it here. This is one way. And uh, these are the two ways. And now if we are going to run for the simulation, so these are the simulations. So let me just, uh, let me take my circuit. So I'm finding the current, current of the independent, so the dependent source, the power, the voltage, uh, power of this source and this source. Let's see, we'll have, so we have multiple plots. So once once it is done, you have these plots. I always try to take a square version of it. So what I do, I take a square version of it because then it becomes very much visible. Something like that. Once it is done, you have selected it. You go to the tools and now again copy bitmap to the clipboard. So you either paste it directly here and look at this again at 150 resolution. 150 it is how nice the pictures all the colors are visible all the variables are visible and the pixels never loses its its own you know genuinity no matter how much you zoom so now it has been zoomed to 300 percent and you see all the pixels are intact so that's one way of doing it okay and again secondly you can go do, go to the paint and paste it once it is pasted bring in the selection tool and crop it here Crop it, okay, and then save as BMP picture. I'll say it two. So I've just named it two. So where is two? Here's the two. Here's picture two. Look at this. It's a beautiful high resolution image. So this is the way to take a high resolution image. So I told you both ways, okay, for the simulation and for the circuits. You attach the bit, you get the bitmap. And then you either paste it in the Word document directly. If not, you paste it into the paint, crop it there, and then symbol, and then paste it to the Word document. 
I hope this is going to help. Thank you very much.